What's going on, y'all? Gonzo's Combo Season 6. We're on episode 18. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Karma Goddess. Well, I go by Coco, but I'm also Karma Goddess. How you guys doing? <laughs> so how did you get the, the nickname Karma Goddess? Let me say. High school. So when high school, I always like do my makeup all the time. And I used to like to wear braids and shit. And yeah. I always like have like charms and stuff in my hair. And somebody was like, you look like a goddess. And then my skin is caramel. So I'm like, okay, I'll just put two or two together. And my mom is the best. Word. Okay, okay. I fuck with that. And what what is it? What is it you said you did again? Thank you. Huh? What was it you said you did again? Um, I am actually I'm trying to be a so like an influencer, a brand ambassador, you know, showcase everybody's clothes and I'm a makeup artist as well and I do fitness. Oh, okay. That's that's what's up. So out of the three, which one would you pursue more if you had to pick? Makeup. Makeup? Not the mm -hmm. not the fitness not the fitness. Oh, I'm still going to do the fitness. It's just, that's more of a personal thing for me. But I have thought about becoming a personal trainer. I got you. But can, right now, it's more that. like a personal thing for me. Okay, I need yeah. your help. I can see it, though. I, I can see you being a personal trainer. Mm -mm. Oh, hey, shit. Like me, Angel. Angel, go eat. You're showing out. If I knock on my dad's door, you're going to be in big trouble. Go sit down. My bad. No, no, you're good. It's kind of uh freezing a little bit on your like lagging a little bit. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is kind of sucky a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of messing up. It should be good. It should be good, though. The Wi-Fi. Um, so so yeah. getting into the topic at hand, right? Talking about this generation. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. First, what, what do you what do you think of this generation? I think this generation normalized a lot of a lot of toxic shit. You know, they normalize a lot of weird shit. They it's just it's out of whack. That's how I feel like this generation is out of whack because like one, why would y'all normalize something that's toxic too? Why would y'all, and then they have no love, like, why yeah. would y'all, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, it's like, the STD rate is really, really high now because they, like, sleeping with everybody, like, they sleep with each other with multiple bodies and stuff, and they're not really taking care of themselves, and they, like, they're being very reckless. That's what, I, like, they're being very reckless to themselves, like, they normalize toxicity, there's a bunch of... It's just a bunch of a lot of weird shit going on. Right. I mean, I, I definitely agree with you on that. Like, but what do you think like causes it mostly? Do you think it's like social media? Do you think it's music? Like, what do you think? It I, is? I honestly think it's like when they're kids, I would, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to blame the parents, but they are a lot of parents. There's not, they're not responsible, you know? There's a lot of parents that be neglecting their children. There's a lot of absent fathers. There's a lot of absent mothers. Or, you know, probably the death of their parents. And, you know, they kind of, mm -hmm. like, fuck them up a little bit. You know? Yeah, I guess. A lot of trauma. A lot of abuse. A lot of just... That could be the reason. I got you. Do you feel like social media does play a part in it, though? Like, the way people are this day and Yes. Age? Yes. <laughs> Because social ahead, media is on. not a real thing. A quote, so a quote from my boyfriend. So he told me that the internet is not a real place, but everybody put their personal issues. Like, it's okay to, like, put so certain things, but it's, like, you don't have to put everything on the internet, you know? I, but yeah, when people put everything in the internet, people are going to be in your business and you can't get mad at the people for putting their opinion on your business. You put it out there and, yes. you know, a lot of people, they influence with, you know, body like, oh, my God, don't get me started with the body shit. Like people try to shit? perfect this try to perfect this like BBLs and shit. Like I ain't got nothing wrong with BBLs. I'm more like I prefer my natural self. But it's just like people 
keeps saying, oh, you need a BBL, you'll be this. Oh, you need to lose weight and get a BBL, you need this. You need to, like, why people are so obsessed with perfection? I, that's um, that's the biggest thing. I mainly see, like, I see it on Instagram, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, but I mainly like see it on TikTok, it seems like. It seems like TikTok kind of brings mm -hmm. out more of the toxicity, I feel like, within this generation. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like or do you feel like Instagram is kind of like the leader of that? So TikTok is worse than Instagram. Because, Angel, turn it out. But, um, hold on, my bad. The reason why I said TikTok is more toxic than Instagram because it's, a nation, it's international, it's nationwide. And, yeah. you know, you got a whole bunch of cyber bullies that will run you off your shit. Yeah. Especially if you're not used to, you know, getting the clout and the fame and stuff. It's like you got a bunch of insecure people saying all these toxic shit towards you and people feed into that to make them believe that, hey, I am this. And they, you know, they clap back. They put a lot of, they put a lot of sexual shit on there too. They put a mm -hmm. lot of, they put everything on TikTok. They put everything on there. Yeah, I, I've seen some I've seen some weird shit on there, too. I mainly see mm -hmm. the cyberbullying that you're talking about. I mainly see that on the, the live streams. I don't know if you ever watch those or not. People going live. That's mainly where I Ooh. see like cyberbullying or like the weird comments kind of pop in. That's mm -hmm. mainly where I see it at. I don't know, do you go live often on TikTok? Oh, yeah. I don't go mm -hmm. live often because like I have no topic to talk about unless, you know, when somebody called me a man or, you know, if somebody wants like any advices and stuff, that's the only time I go live. Or if I do like Q and A's, I got you. but you know, mostly when I go to live is when somebody got me fucked up. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't done like a makeup thing. Cause you said you're into makeup and that's like a, a common thing on TikTok is like people will go live and then do their makeup while they're live and shit. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of that on TikTok. Yeah. Like, like the tutorials and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and have, you, have, you ever gotten, have you ever gotten like a weird comment about the makeup stuff or just mainly about you? There was like, oh, you look like a trans. You look like a man with or without makeup. But I think it's just me. But some people, they was like, you're beautiful without makeup. I was like, well, thank you. Like, I want to say, yeah, I know, but I don't want to come off too cocky. But I'd be like, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And, um. There's like, you need to throw all that makeup away. I'm like, you don't need to tell me what to do. It's my face. This is my skin. I do what the fuck I want to do when I put on makeup. Yeah. They'd be like, makeup is bad for you. I said, only if you're allergic to it or you have very sensitive skin or you're not taking care of your makeup, like your skin. Right. And then old makeup do damage your skin. So I might have to put that out there too. But it's just people are very opinionated and very judgmental. It's crazy. Yeah. But I don't look nothing like a man, so they can stop the allegations. <laughs> That's my thing, though. Like, when it comes to TikTok, like, they're going to say anything and everything to try to get on your nerves. So, like, I don't know if you wear, like, the eyelashes. Sometimes they'll talk shit about the lashes. They'll talk shit about the eyebrows. They'll talk shit about whatever they can find. You know what I'm saying? They never talk about the eyelashes. Like, I like, when it comes to, like, eyelashes, like, I wear, like, more like a wispy natural lashes instead of the ones that kind of, like, cover my whole face. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't like no thick ass lashes either. I feel like those are just a bit too much. But um, they did say something about my eyebrows. It was like, oh, your eyebrows are cooked. You need to. I said, nigga, excuse my language. I'm like, bro. You, know, you can say, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this right now. You can say whatever the hell you want and do whatever you want. I'm under the explicit category, so okay. say whatever. <laughs> do whatever. Okay. Yeah. I was like, nigga, like, if you want to learn about makeup so bad, how about you, you know, hit me up and I can teach you a few things. You can you, you don't <laughs> even wear makeup. You as a grown ass man telling me that my eyebrows are cooking, I need to fix them. How, how the fuck you know, sis? How do you know how to do makeup but you don't have to put on makeup? Yeah, it's it's just them trolling. It's just what people do. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's that's the crazy thing is people will go and troll on stuff like this because they're bored. Mm -hmm. Nothing else to do, you know what I'm right. saying? They're not at work. They're not doing anything at home. They're just gonna sit there bored, and they're probably high as fuck, to be honest with you. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like whenever I would watch TikTok and I was like blazed the fuck up, 
everything mm -hmm. is funny to me. Even comments, like people will just say random shit, and I'm like, that's funny as shit. You know what right. I mean? When I'm not, then I'm like, this is this is stupid. You know, like this. What right. is this? So they're probably on some I shit. I used to let the comments get to me. I used to let it get to me, but sometimes, oh, and I get the racial shit. Oh yeah, they call that, me. That's a comment. They be calling me monkey. They call me monkey. <laughs> I did stuff too. When they call me monkey, I was like, you look like a, you know, you know, the person with the monkey to a human. I said, you calling me a monkey, but look at you. And I got, I got hella, they bashed the hell out of me when I said that. I was like, you know what? I learned my lesson not to clap back. Cause if I clap back, I'm the bull. Yeah. It's, it's best like to just yeah, read it. Cause I see some people do this too. Like, well, they'll mm -hmm. just read it and then ignore it. That's the best thing you can do because mm -hmm. you ignore it. They're gonna click off and go fucking go fuck with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So right. yeah, don't you you learn definitely don't clap back. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm not clapping back. I just block either. I just laugh or block. Yeah. And sometimes if I feel like if I feel like I want to be a little petty or you know have a little entertainment, I'd be like, who hurt you? And they get so mad when I said that. Yeah. I just I, like I learned I learned that the block button is probably one of the most useful buttons you could ever have on social media. Mm -hmm. Use that shit straight up. Use mm -hmm. it. I can't tell you how many times I've used it just because like I don't feel like dealing with hate. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to right. do something, no matter what it is, you're always gonna get love and you're always gonna get hate. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So with the hate stuff, just block it and ignore it and then continue on with what you're doing. That's the best way right. to go about it. I'm just now getting my shit back. What the fuck are you watching, Angel? My bad. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I saw that your Instagram, your Instagram got like a just. Well, I don't know what the hell. It got banned from some shit. I saw that. Yeah, and I'm just like, because of a repost outside, but it is not my post. Like, why are y'all reposting? Like, why are y'all searching through my shit in the archives? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, baby. I was like, why are y'all going deep into my shit and reporting shit that I reposted two to three years ago? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And I feel like Instagram's real sensitive now. I don't know if you it is. That. Like sometimes I'll try to follow somebody, right? Like if I just met mm -hmm. somebody, like, oh you're cool, let me tap in with you. I'll follow. And then sometimes mm -hmm. it'll be like you're you cannot follow at this time or some shit like that. Like it won't let me follow that person. Right. For a certain amount of time. And it's it's weird as hell how they're doing shit right now. Mm-hmm. It's just like and now and now Instagram is trying to become Twitter. And I'm like, bruh, I you know, I'm being a little petty again because like why y'all posting my shit? I put on okay, I have this facet lingerie that I have put on. It doesn't show anything. I mean, yeah. it's a little bit see-through, but it's not showing, you know, the major parts of my body. Right. They reported it as sexual. I said, well, damn, is my sex appeal that high? I seen a bitch. She got her cooch out. Guess what <laughs> I did? Repost it. I mean, not repost it. I reported it constantly, and they took it out. I was like, yeah, I'm being petty. So <laughs> y'all taking down my stuff. Hey, Dad, my bad. So they taking down my stuff. They try to take down my stuff. I was like, look, I think it's the haters, because y'all don't like the fact that I've become a successful and when mm -hmm. I do become real successful, I'm still going to remain humble. And that's the thing. A lot of people are not humble. You said a lot, a lot of people, people are not humble. humble? Yeah, a lot of people are not humble. Because, like, whenever I notice this a lot, whenever somebody gets clout or they get famous and stuff, they get big-headed. Some of them, not all most. of them. Most. Yeah, I was going to say most. Like, me, yeah, I don't know. When it, okay, so I'm going to say, like, on a personal level, like, for me, I just like doing this because I like talking to new people. I like meeting new people. That's just one of the things mm -hmm. I like to do, and that's what I like podcasting for. Um, have I gained some stuff from it? Absolutely. But have I get, mm -hmm. gotten a big head from it? No, but I have used it in arguments before. You know what I'm saying? Because whenever you're trying to do something, whenever you're trying to pop off and do something, you're always going to have people tell you, like, oh, well, this is fake, or this is not it, or, like, you know, you're always going to have someone say some shit. Oh, someone's always got to open right. their mouth, like, but mm -hmm. my thing is, is like I said, just you just gotta ignore and block and, and keep on with the shit. Right. Because you're gonna get it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Every famous every famous person that you can name or anyone with clout that you can name 
hasn't gotten hate of some sort. Every single man. Day. But yeah, that's the biggest lesson of them all. Just ignore it because when you ignore it, that makes the trolls mad and they're gonna try to <laughs> they're gonna try to stop you and stuff, you know? Right. And then with relation talk. with relationships, right? Mm-hmm. You said you 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 have a boyfriend, so that's cool. That's a good thing. Trust me, that mm-hmm. is a good thing in this generation to have because it doesn't happen very often. You know what I'm saying? Right. But my thing is what was I saying? What was I going with this? Um how do you feel about how people have relationships in this generation, though? Like, do you feel like most of the things? So I'm in a relationship. It, you know, it's normal to argue like a couple times, but not all the time. Mm. But I have been in bad relationships. This is my first relationship that is have never been toxic or abusive and stuff, you know. But yeah. I noticed like a lot of people in relationships. This is like I. You know, I keep my comments to myself when it comes to relationship because, you know, I'm not finna not for the argue with strangers and stuff. But at the same time, I have no room to talk about nobody's relationship. I'm not perfect, they're not perfect. But you know, a lot of people, majority of these relationships out here don't really last long because they like toxic and they keep fighting each other. I notice that women are putting hands on men more often and I don't I don't I don't I don't condone that. I was like, even though like, and they need to put that more out there because there's a lot of women who start the DV, you know? Mm-hmm. They start that. But, yeah. you know, people make it as a joke because, you know, there's a lot of men that get abused by women and they're not taking that serious. But yeah. then if a man, if it's vice versa, the man goes to jail quick. Just like that. Exactly. But it's just like, it's There's a lot of DV around. going on. I was like, yeah, y'all young, but at the same time, y'all got to learn how to grow. Y'all got to learn how to talk. And y'all got to learn how to, like, communicate as adults instead of just yeah. lashing out. Hmm? No, I was, I was agreeing with you. Um, So that is... that is. Um, Hold on, you kind of broke out a little bit. Can you, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, perfect. So... What I was saying was, um, I was agreeing with you, but my thing is, is mm-hmm. it's interesting that you say that, or that you pointed out that women are more so attacking men and stuff like that, because I've noticed that, but I've never said anything. And a lot of previous guests that were on here never said anything about that either. But that yeah. is a common thing that happens nowadays. And it's not, mm-hmm. it's not like looked down upon, it seems like. Like, it, like if a female punches a dude, it's kind of like, all right, you know what right. I'm saying? Versus if the dude punched the woman, it's like, oh, fuck. He needs to be in jail for this. Thing. Angel, shh. Angel, shh. Right. Here we go. There we go. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. All right, perfect, perfect. Um, Alexis, go ahead. Introduce yourself to everybody. Oh, hi, I'm Alexis. Oh, yeah. tell, tell everybody what you do. I'm a cosmetologist and a model. Hell yeah. So we just started talking about this generation and we were talking about, she brought up the fact that, um, well, I brought it up, but we also I talked about it. I can't see anybody. Them. You can't see nobody? Angel, go sit down. You can't, you can't see us right now? Connection is horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can now. Hold on. I see. Okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> right, Hello. But um, we're talking about um relationships tell, in this generation. Tell her that I can. So, what, what, Alexis, what are your thoughts on on relationships nowadays? Um, I think dating in this day and age is like really hard. Um, nothing is like it used to be. I feel like old love is my thing. And, you know, yes, we're 2024, you know, women work, men work, whatever. But I feel yeah. like it's this like competition of who's the breadwinner nowadays. And it's like, you could be 50 50 with someone and be equal and both put in 100 and, you know, succeed, like be in your bag together. But I think there's like this competition of like, oh, my girl does better than I do, or like, my man does better than me. Hey, you know, so I'm like, I just feel like, there's like this insecureness and like competition that wasn't a thing like a long time ago, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like people like are cheating more often on each other? Like, do you oh, guys both feel that? Uh, <laughs> she has something to say. 
I'm like, go, girl. A lot of people are cheating. <laughs> a lot of people are a lot of people are cheating on each other, like a lot, a lot more. All right, let's let's hear a like what, you, what what have you heard about cheating? Or like what are your own stories about it? So when I was before before I'm in my current relationship, I was dealing with this dude. He he delusional, delusional. But you know, I was on and off with him, but he basically just slept with multiple women behind my back. And Damn. I'm just like, what the fuck? I was like, why? Like, what did I do to deserve this? So, you know what? And guess what? I ain't no saint either. So, you know, I, I cheated back and I moved on to a better person. <laughs> I did. But it's just like the relationship, it doesn't matter if it's a friendship, relationship, or situation. Yeah. Toxic, they be cheating on each other. And I was like, especially in a toxic relationship. And I'm like, a lot of people gotta, a lot of people gotta learn. Like, I ain't gonna say a lot of people gotta learn. People will know when it's the best time to leave that shit. Cause it took me a minute to leave from a toxic shit. Yeah. It took me hell a minute. And you know, some people they're not used to it, so they're just gonna stick beside the, you know, the person who constantly cheat on them and etc. Until they're tired of it. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Like people get tired of each other too easily, and that's what kind of leads to the whole cheating mm -hmm. thing. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Me personally, that's why I can't. That's why I wasn't taking relationships seriously for the longest time, just because people were just wanting to be toxic with each other, wanting to cheat on each other, and like, to, and like that was like a point to prove that you're better than that person. It seemed like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, Alexis? What about you? Um, I think so. I mean, from one side, I'm an Instagram model. So it's like, my Instagram is me in bikinis. And so it's like, oh, my God, all these hot Instagram girls and instantly men look, you know, and yeah. I just feel like in this age, everyone's toxic. Like she was saying, like, you can be a wife or a husband to somebody and like, they're cheating behind your back. And you would never know because people are so good at like manipulation. It's insane nowadays, like how good people can gaslight you. And mm -hmm. you'll never know. Like, you can be at work thinking your man's at the gym and he's fucking homegirl, you know? So it's, like, insane nowadays. And I think it's not even just social media. It's just this generation. Like, whatever they can have, they get. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was cheated on in my last relationship. And so I just feel like there's no one, like, serious anymore, which is why, like, dating's super hard. But it is a constant battle, like, trying to find someone good versus, yeah. like, knowing – people ain't shit men are women you know nowadays so I, I i'm trying to think if that was you that we were talking about that i'm not sure but we were talking about um how men are like kind of more feminine in this day and age it, it feels like yeah. doesn't it kind exactly. of seem that way? Yeah, like it's, not, it's almost like roles kind of just switch like there's a lot of feminine men out there and there's a lot of masculine women out there and we were talking about that earlier like the women that were like ready to fight men and shit like that Roles mm -hmm. are flipping right now, and it's getting it's getting wild. Right, mm -hmm. I'm just like I don't understand it. Like majority of men, I ain't gonna say all of them, but like majority of men go go eat, Angel, go eat. Mm -hmm. So majority of men, <clears throat> they are getting beginning to be a little sassy. It's not about their emotions and stuff. Like everybody has emotions, you know. We're not robots, you know. It's okay for a man to have emotions. It's okay for a man to cry. I don't care, mm -hmm. but it's the attitude. It's the attitude. Like, you get so mad so fast. It's crazy. Like, why the fuck you get so mad? And, you know, we're having a conversation. Like, it's giving sassy. Oh, and then they be, I feel like they have men periods when they go <laughs> off. Yeah. So do you feel like that's just <laughs> their personality or do you feel like that's a past trauma? Because I can tell you that's probably a past trauma that they have. From relationships, yeah, it like ain't the personality. It ain't the personality. They, it, it's fine for them to have a personality. It's okay, but it's just let it cop an attitude too damn fast. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Go eat, Angel. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. noticing the roles are switching, but I don't know. My my prediction for the future, like I, I, I always say this, I hope it gets better. I hope everything gets better, but I don't necessarily. I don't mm -hmm. think it will. I don't really think it will, you know, with everything that's going on with social media, with everything, all the trends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not going to get better from here. It's gonna get right. Go sit down and eat, Angel. Like, like 
Okay, I'm gonna ask Alexa. I'm gonna ask you this. Okay. So when it comes to relationships, what exactly do you look for in a dude? You know, honestly, I feel like at this point it's the bare minimum to me. But like, you know, loyalty, honesty, communication, and just someone that has goals and, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, basically that's all I ask for. You know, I don't really ask for much. Like, you know, I'm 20, I have my own house, I drive a Mercedes Benz. Like, I have two careers. I am on my own, but like. If you can provide me stability, honesty, like good company, like by all means, you know, talk to me. So I feel like I don't ask for a lot, but um, yeah, I guess the basic stuff. I got you. I got you. But like, have you ever had like, oh, no, no, what I was talking about. So in this generation, what I've seen a lot is like women will, when they're looking for a dude, they're looking for the dude that's like six foot and taller the right zodiac sign and it makes over six figures. Like, can you kind of see where it's mm. like, that's a little, that's a little excessive, you know? Yeah. Well, it is a bit excessive. <laughs> Angel Cell. But, wow. Angel, so I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say something. So I, when it comes to like zodiacs and stuff, like I do read the sign, but when it comes to compatibility, I don't believe in that at all. I don't believe in that at all because like so I had dated I dated a short dude. I dated a short dude. I'm five one, dude is like five three. I dated somebody short like me okay. and I dated somebody that's taller than me. But um it's just like when it comes to like zodiacs and stuff, my I'm with the Gemini right now. I'm a Pisces. They they be like Gemini's a Pisces, they don't they don't match, they not incompatible. I was like, I've been going on for three years. Three years, three yeah. years. Sit down, Angel. What? But when it comes to height, it's okay if you're like, you know, short. Just know. Not short. If I can you. easily pick you up, yeah. If I can easily pick you up and stuff, I, I don't know how <laughs> I feel about that. It's gonna make me feel like I'm overpowering somebody if I'm like. Yeah. If I'm taller, it makes me feel like I'm overpowering. And I'm like, I don't want to feel that way. I want some, I want to feel like I'm getting overpowered, you know, like I'm like, not in a negative way, but like yeah, that's what you mean. more like, yeah. yeah, but it's just like, it is true. And then when it comes to the six figure and stuff, like I'm not a materialistic girl at all. I'm not a materialistic girl at all, but you know, you got me, I got you, you know, we got each other. Even though yeah. they want to do more for you, I'm like, I'm good, I'm okay. I am all I all I like is just, you know, just spend some quality time with you. It doesn't matter. We could be outside, you know, by the fucking river and in lake and stuff and just chill and you know, that's the date and stuff. We don't have to do like expensive dating, expensive shopping and stuff. It's okay to have a little bit of materialistic things, but all the time, no. I got it's you. like you it's like people don't people don't take consideration like most of these women they don't take consideration of what a man is going through or what he got turn the light off or what a man got going because you know he could you know he could have bills that he needs to be paid and there's this woman want to be selfish and say oh yeah. i need you to spend this on me i need you to spend this i need you i need you to make more i need you to do this more 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 i'm like that's like that's very fucking selfish like you gotta take consideration of what he's going through instead of trying to be selfish and think about yourself. I got you. So. I got you. Alexa, what That's about my you? opinion. Uh, <laughs> I, you. I mean, the height don't really matter to me. I'm, but you know, I, I am a little a, a girl. You know, I am I'm five one two, but preferred my height or taller. Like I want to be able to process. like she said. If I can carry you, like. You know, I just can't do it, you know, but mm -hmm. it's just because I'm really feminine. Like I'm very, I like to be very feminine. So I'd prefer at least my higher, taller, uh, six figure thing. I don't really give a shit as long as you have like goals and your job, like we're chilling. Like if you can pay your bills, yeah, that's fine. I don't really, I don't think that's a necessity, but I know it's like, a thing for, Go but, you know, I, if you have a job, it's fine. And I'm the type like, I'll hold it down too. Like I'm successful. Like I can take care of you while you figure shit out. Like, you know, zero to 100 trust a process type thing. But yeah. <laughs> I think I am very different from a lot of girls. And she's, you know, the girl in the live sounds like she is too. Cause like we can see that when you're realistic and admit that like, 
Yeah. I don't need to buy me some Louis Vuitton bag or like take me to Nobu or something crazy. Like you can literally like pick up a rock and be like, I thought of you and I like I would cry, you know. Like yeah. you can walk to me and I'd be like, wow, mm-hmm. you really walked to me. Like that is so considerate over like you driving, you know. So I feel like there's women that still believe in like that kind of stuff. Um but yeah, you know, six foot. I mean, if you're six foot, go you, you know, like that's <laughs> Like whatever. I'm like, if you know the person I'm attracted <laughs> to, like, tall and they're tall. You know, if they're short, they're yeah. short. Uh, I'm just like personality mm-hmm. and like that matters to me. What'd you say? Oh, zodiac sign. Uh, don't really give a shit. Um, I I like to learn about them. I'm a Scorpio. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you're a Gemini or a Gemini or whatever. You know, I I do think there's certain signs that have like their own stuff. I'm not gonna say that and get canceled, but like. You know, mm-hmm. but it doesn't really matter to me. Like, if it's, if I like you, I like you type thing. See, that that's a good mm-hmm. thing that we still have people around that, that still have yeah. that money. And I feel like we need more of that. We'll talk. We need more of that because we don't have a lot of mm-hmm. that. You know, as a dude, I can tell you there are still females out there that real deal want that dude that's six foot and taller, want that dude that has the right zodiac sign and makes good money. Not maybe not necessarily six right. figures, but you know, a good amount of money, obviously more than her. So mm-hmm. that's kind of what we're dealing with in this generation as as men in general. That's what was that's what's going on. You know. But mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe you guys could t- tell me like what goes on with dudes. Like what do, what is the whole dude thing in this generation? Because we could talk about the females, I can tell you that, but the dudes, I don't know. I'm only one dude. Some of the dudes, some of the dudes, I just noticed like I want them to like focus on themselves more instead of try to chase every fucking female in this world. I want them to focus <laughs> on themselves more because I was like, men, mental health is it's more important too. And you know, a lot of people don't see that and they think it's a joke, you know, when a man yeah. has mental health issue. But it's just like, I want most of these men to like really heal because they go through depression too. They go through a lot of shit, and I was like, but again, a lot of people don't, they don't, they don't think about that. But it's just like, for what I understand, society in general don't take men serious. They don't take men serious, and I'm just like, that's a huge red flag. But you know, some of the men, they're childish and they keep killing each other, and just all these gun violence and stuff. And I'm just like, bro, like, I don't know, I don't know when it's gonna stop, but I just wish. Like at one point in time that some of these men have common sense and be like, oh shit, I need to get myself together. I need to take care of myself. I need to focus on myself more. Yeah. And I need them to read books. I got you, I got you. A lot of men don't read books. (laughs) Hey, me included, I need to read more books too. I just I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I need to though. I I, I'm with you on it. Yeah. Might be some good ones out there. I don't know. But Alexis, how about you? Like I forgot the question. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so I was into what she was saying, but but um, no, I agree with her. I think a lot of people are selfish nowadays, and it's very, very like it's my life. It's about me, you know. And so I think remembering like someone has shit going on, like you never know what goes on behind closed doors, whatever. And you know, you can go to your girl's work, and she's she's smiling because she sees you, and you think she's having a good day, and she's not. Or you bring your man lunch, and he like is happy to see you versus. It's probably having a bad day, you know? So I feel like yeah. people just don't realize and remember, like, everyone's human. Like, that saying where it's, like, it's my first time living on this earth. Like, I live by mm-hmm. that. So, like, it's everyone's first time. Like, you know, we're all here for the same purpose and doing the same thing. Um, so I guess just remembering, like, everyone's human. And then um, that whole, like, lust versus love thing is huge. And... Mm. I think that's a big topic in like dating nowadays because like, you know, you can look at me and be like, oh my God, she looks like she has her life together. She's cute. I want to be with her. Like, do you know me though? Like, what's my favorite color? What's my favorite food? Like, could you tell me that? No. And it's like, people are so infatuated with like looks and like money and success nowadays, but it's like, don't ever, like people don't really get to know anybody. Like, you know, I feel like dating, like going on dates, like a casual dinner, like that's not really like a thing no more. Like um, any of that stuff. I just like it's right away like, oh, he's fine. Oh, she's a baddie and let me hit her up. And it's like, 
I feel like it's so annoying. So I just I like that. It is. It, now it my, is. My thing is, is like, like you, like you're saying, like going on dates and all that stuff is not a thing, but I personally feel like that definitely should be a thing too. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I've had a lot of people on my podcast even tell me like from before, they're like, yeah, it'd be nice to like have dates come back, like actually have people going on dates and stuff like that. And I feel like things would be a lot better. Why? Because dates force you to communicate. And what's the problem? People don't communicate. You that's know what I'm saying? That that's like the huge biggest problem. Yeah, that's the biggest thing is like people communicate. Well, if you go out more often and spend time with each other, that's going to force you to communicate, you know, and if you actually like stay off the phones and shit like that, because again, let's be real, technology is taking over. So people are struggling mm -hmm. and talking in person because of phones, because of technology that we have. And that's where I see the issue at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, we can advance in technology. Cool. I like the technology. Don't get me wrong. But if it's gonna drop our social, like drop us socially, and like not have us socialize, what what's the whole point then? Yeah. Because you know? like how like how we're talking right now over the video thing, cool. But mm -hmm. I feel like in person is always more impactful, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Me when it comes to like meeting people in person, like. I'm an empath, so I feel energy. When the energy is cool, oh yeah, I'm gonna start conversation. But if the energy right. is like giving red flags and shit, I'm not gonna fuck with you at mm -hmm. all. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not talking to you. Like, I'm not trying to have that energy transfer. It's all about energy. It's like, in real mm -hmm. life, I am antisocial when I'm not comfortable. But when I'm comfortable around you, I'm gonna talk my ass off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's usually how it is. Though. Like, once you're comfortable around someone, like you, usually, that's gonna bring out the more outgoing part of you. I feel mm -hmm. like we all we all have like an introverted part to our to our. Like, I could be introverted as fuck sometimes, you know. Right. But if I'm around people that I fuck with, yeah, I'm gonna be outgoing as hell, you know. Now, my thing is, do you guys think race is like a big problem in in the dating in this generation or in this generation period? Nah, not really. Do people, do people kind of blow that out of proportion on social media. I feel like we're all like we're all is like all the same person. Just like I feel like that's what we all like. Even though I am pro black, I before I became pro black, I did date outside my race, but it didn't work out. It didn't work mm -hmm. out. I had dated a racist before. It did not work out. I'm like, thank God. You dated a racist guy. I want to know how that went. <laughs> Like that's kind of interesting. Like, that was just it was high school shit. It was high school shit. Like he was like an undercover racist. <laughs> I'm like, nah, oh, so he was I'm like, like so he was like racist behind your back, not like to your face. Yeah, uh, no, not to my face. If I would have punched it, I would have punched him. <laughs> I would have punched his shit in the lip. I would. I, I thought it was like maybe to your face. That would have been wild as shit. <laughs> like, that 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 would be the only time where I put my hands on a man if he, you know, try to talk Ooh. that racist shit. But Absolutely. even though I don't put I don't put my hands on a man for no reason at all. I'm not a violent person. But I dated outside my race before. But it's mostly black men or Mexican men. That's about it. That's my preference. I know you know that but, flag. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's just like I'm pro black, and I'm like, you know, I'm with a black man, and you know, that's like one of my healthiest relationships. And it's just like, I it doesn't matter. Like for me, when it comes to people dating outside of race and stuff, I it I don't I don't care. You know, everybody's opinionated to their you know their opinions yeah. and stuff. But yeah. you know, like Dr. Umar. Like I agree with some of the things he said, but he do come a bit racist. And I'm like, mm, mm -hmm. that's not cute to just do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's just like as long as like love, like as long love has no color, it's just you know, if you end up happening to be with somebody outside your race, go for it. If you love that person, go for it. Yeah. I don't care. I don't discriminate. Absolutely. And no one should be. But yeah, social media is a different monster. You know what I'm saying? But Alexis, how about you? Like, I forgot what you were saying. Did you say 
Or what did you say about the whole race thing? Like, do you think like, that plays a part in some people? Or do you or, feel like that doesn't matter? Um, I'm sure it does play a part for people, but not me personally. Like, you know, like I said, what you do for a living and what color your skin is and what clothes you wear, it doesn't bother me. Um, like I said, if I like you, I like you. Um, I definitely agree though. I couldn't be with someone that was like racist towards other people though. Cause like that don't sit with me. Um, mm -hmm. Like being homophobic, don't sit with me. Like I just, I'm very much like live your life how you want to live it. And it's just right. if you're like willingly be disrespectful every day to people, like get a life, you know? So um, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, I would date anybody that I just was, I liked when it got to that point, but mm -hmm. I can appreciate like wanting to stay like in your race. I think that's like a really cool thing. And um, I have some friends who date like that and they have successful relationships and they're really happy. And I have friends who date outside of it and they're happy. So yeah, uh, it doesn't really bother me as long as you're a good person, you know? I got you. So on a personal what? note, as a Chicano, I'm a Chicano myself, mixed Chicano. So I grew up around diversity all the time. Now, the only ones I've dated was black women, Latin women, and sometimes Asian women, but white women never liked me for some reason. So I don't know why they just never really did, but I dated every other except white. And I always thought that was kind of interesting because I felt like in the places I was in, if you weren't like white enough or like preppy enough, they weren't gonna want to date you type deal. So it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? The only time I, if I ever did a white Mike, he got to have a little bit of flavor in him. Yeah. But, you know, he got to have a little flavor on him. He can't be bland. <laughs> but that's <laughs> besides the fact, like, I'm I'm with somebody. I was like, I'm happy with this man that I'm with. And I'm just like, I see, I see more, like, I see us more in the future, you know? Yeah, I see a right. lot more in the future. Right. And see, that's how, that's how, that's what needs to happen. Relationships like that. You know what I'm saying? If there was some way, somehow, relationships could be more like that, I feel like we'd be all we'd all be better off. Mm -hmm. Really, all would be. Now, what do you what do you guys think that would take to end up getting to that type of situation? Just grow up. I, <laughs> I mean, I feel like you should date to marry. Well, you kind of went out on me a little bit. Can you can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you. Okay. No, you can go ahead and continue. Um, I was just saying, like, personally, I date to marry. Um, that mindset, I think, got me where I'm at now. And I feel like if people just, you know, switch their deception to, like, learning lust versus love and, like, actually being honest about what their intentions are with people, um, mm -hmm. I think it goes so far. Because, like, you could tell a girl or a guy, like, I'm dating to marry. And then, you know, you're for you're just wanting to hook up. Right. And, I think that's shitty like just be honest so i guess there's honesty and like what your intentions are and mm -hmm. i think that actually take things a lot further than they are now right but that's the problem though is people don't want to look at it that way people just want to date for the looks like you were saying earlier they want to date for the mm -hmm. looks and women want to date for the looks and the money and the height so i feel like as a requirement like obviously this is not like anything against women or anything but I feel like females have more of a requirement than men do. Men obviously just want to go for the looks. If she has an ass, if she has mm -hmm. tits, and if she looks good in the face, good enough, right? Versus yeah. women is like they're looking for some other key stuff is what it seems like. And if you don't meet those requirements, she's not going to talk to you. Mm -hmm. That's that's the society that we live in. And guess what? Social status is now a fucking thing or has been a thing for a little bit. Where you have a have you have to have a following on Instagram. If you have a following on Instagram, then you're something. If you have mm -hmm. a following on TikTok, you're something. And that shouldn't be the case. You know, people right. are people no matter how many followers people have, no matter what. Mm -hmm. People are people put up their pants on one leg at a time. Everybody does. Right. You know. But society doesn't treat it that way. That's that's why I talk about stuff like this. Cause it's in for one, it's interesting. Two, I like to hear what you guys like to say. And most of the time, it's what I'm saying. It's like it's like everyone's realizing it, but at the same time, no one wants to try to find a way to resolve it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's me included. Like, I want to try to resolve it, but have I put the time to? Nah, I'm just letting shit play out. Like, I'm going to be real, you know? So, speaking I don't of know. society, speaking of society, like, 
I remember I used to have like a couple thousands of follows and stuff. And out of nowhere, like all my shit just blew up. And then I have like a couple celebrities following me, a couple of rappers trying to fly me out and shit like that. And they get mad at me when I tell them no, because I know what they're trying to do. They try to fuck. That's what they're trying to do. <laughs> But that's what it seems like to it, like in the in the entertainment industry, right? Doesn't it kind of seem that way? Yeah. It's like if you want to be famous, you got to do this, that, and the third for me. hundred percent. Yes, like a hundred. Cause like I ain't gonna say names, but there's this one rapper that just kept just hit me up since January, and I'm like, you don't have to say names, but is he like a big time rapper? Make that throwback. Make that throwback. I might have an idea. I might have an idea who it might be in my head, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I, cause I don't like. Uh, see me. I, I'm a private person, like yeah. in real life. But social media, I'm, I'm out there on social media, like you know. But it's just like all when it comes to life right? thing, huh? I don't say. I think all three of us are like we use social media a lot. All three of yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's just like. When it comes to like, I don't do that. When it comes to like the name drops and stuff, I don't do that because I'm not looking for more attention. Right. I'm not, and I was like, and then that attention would be negative because people gonna be like, oh, you're a gold digger. Oh, you this and that. You just chasing his money and this and that. The third, and I'm like, yeah, I know how people are. People, are, that's people the thing. Are. That's, that's what I was telling you before. Like people are always gonna say anything. Just to mm -hmm. get on your nerves. Like, okay. I'm gonna ask Alexis. Alexis, how many hate comments? Not hate comments. Hate DMs. I'm gonna say hate DM. How many hate DMs do you get uh, per month? I would say. Um, a lot. I can even tell you a number. To Ooh. be honest. And let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is it mostly because you tell them no or you deny them on some shit? I'd say a majority is because I say no, or I'm not. I'm not mm -hmm. down. I would say. Um, exactly. So I, she's right. Like once you hit like a certain number on Instagram, I guess you're seen as like famous. Um, and mm -hmm. like the thing. What number is that? <laughs> I'm curious. I, I don't know. I have like 5.9 thousand, like 65.9 thousand followers and they consider that as famous. And I'm like, yeah, I have 55 and they think it's famous. Mm -hmm. so. I don't even know how many I have. How many do I have? Let me see. 200. Yeah. I didn't even realize I had that much. <laughs> crazy anyway um that's beside all that because i i don't really care for all that but my thing is is that's a, going back to what i was saying before that seems like that's the thing though like you got that you have to have a status to be somebody is what society is trying to make make it seem like yeah. like there's no more of that nine to five work there's no more of that online work bullshit you got to mm -hmm. do stuff on social media or make a name for yourself otherwise you're not going to make it that's what this society is kind of making it play out to be. Mm -hmm. Speaking of nine to five jobs, it's been hard to get one now lately. Cause like, it's especially, I feel like I ain't going to try to start shit, but it feels like us black people are having a hard time getting jobs and shit. Cause it used to be easy. <clears throat> and it's just like, damn, like, like we can't even defend ourselves when we have jobs and shit, you know, when people provoke us and stuff, we are like posed as threats. We're posed as threats and they blacklist us to get another job and shit like that. And I'm just like, bro. That, that so might just, just be, like, that might just be around the area where you live in. Cause where I live in majority of mm -hmm. people I work with are black and Hispanic. So, you know what I'm saying? Texas is a horrible, like, I love Texas. I, I just moved out. Like I just moved out yeah, of Texas. I was in I'm in a whole different state. Yeah, yeah, I was in Dallas Fort Worth. Aww. I was oh, in yeah, Dallas Fort Worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like I love I, I grew up in Texas. Like I grew up in there. Like even though I was born here in Phoenix, mm -hmm. I grew up, I was raised in Texas, and I knew Texas my whole life. But it's just like I had a hard time getting a job out there because like it used to be easy and then Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened. They barely pay us like they barely like the minimum amount they gave us is ten dollars, like ten dollars per hour. What the fuck we gonna do with ten dollars per hour? Mm -hmm. Ten dollars an hour. Much... That's yeah. That's minimum wage. That's gas in Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 
I feel like that might be below minimum wage in Texas. Hell yeah. Yeah, even especially probably. when you work at a gas station. Mm-hmm. Yeah, $10 an mm -hmm. hour is crazy. Especially yeah, like, well, it's been 12 I'm pretty sure it's 12 So, like, I used to make 12 bucks. I mean, shit. But, I don't say it's it's sixteen where I live at right now, sixteen. Me, but it's supposed to it's supposed me, to go I up. I got a job. You. I got a job interview with um. Look, I'm a regular person, so I got a job interview at Kroger's and shit, and they start you off, I think, fourteen to fifteen. Fourteen, fifteen per hour. I said that's actually pretty okay, good. That's, yeah, yeah, that's around that's around where this with the what Maryland is at right now is sixteen and now. Yeah. But ten dollars an hour is wild. Like I wouldn't have taken mm -hmm. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even have looked at the dude. I'd have been like, I'm out, bro. Like ten dollars an hour. What the I fuck? was in a desperate situation when I was in Texas, like before I like move out here, like I was in a desperate situation. Our old apartment, I, I live with my father now, but my old apartment, I used to have my own place and stuff and then, you know. Two girls assaulted me. Two girls assaulted me, and then I got kicked out because I threw the first punch. And I'm like, they were trespassing. They trespassed yeah. my shit, so I can't protect myself. I'm like, okay, bet. Fuck y'all. That's a bullshit, Texas. Because yeah. I, I was there for like what two years, and mm -hmm. fighting fighting somebody and shooting somebody is different, right? It, let's say if you were right. to have shot them, like it shot them for being on your property, you wouldn't have gotten in trouble. Which yeah. doesn't make any fucking sense because you punched them instead and still got in trouble. So that law mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to me either. You know I should have stabbed them. It's almost like they want you to pull the pull the strap out and shoot somebody. Like what the fuck? Right. Texas I, was like, I didn't even have a gun. I didn't have a gun, so I was like, I have knives. I said like, I should have just stabbed the motherfucker. But I was like, you know what? I don't really like blood like that. I don't like blood because if I see blood, <laughs> I get real squeamish. I get real squeamish. I do. But it's just like the fact that they kicked me out. But I was like, look, it's a blessing. I was like, look, I got another chance to start all over. And, you know, a lot of people assume that my life is good because of my status. I was like, look, I, I don't put my personal business out there like that. But I was like, I did lose my place for fighting, fighting back, actually. But there I got go. jumped. And they did a pole job jump at me. They did. They did a pole job jump at me. But it's just like. It's just like I can't I, I could get over it, but at the same time I'm like still like in shock that I even got jumped. Like what the fuck, you know? And then yeah. you know, my child was there and he saw everything. That really like broke my heart, you know? And I'm like, that kind of like put me in rage. Like I, I was seeing red to black at the moment. I wasn't thinking straight because I was like, even if, if I had a strap, I probably would have got in trouble still. The fact that I was yeah. angry and I was seeing black, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I look at it as a lesson and a blessing, and you know, well, more of a blessing than a lesson, because like I didn't do shit, but just defended myself. Right. You know. Right. right. And that's that's just something Texas but itself Texas, needs to work on type deal. Texas, yeah. I like I like the apostle. Don't get me wrong. Fucking Greg the Abbott. Laws, the laws mm -hmm. need to work on. They need to work on that shit. But um, Alexis, how about you? Have you? been in situations like that before where you like just went off like you crashed out on somebody mm, <laughs> not really i mean like i definitely could have but i like don't have a lot of friends for that reason because like like what she's saying like girls are crazy um uh, men too <laughs> people in general are crazy uh so i don't really like mm -hmm. hang out with nobody but i mean I would never put my hands on someone unless I was defending myself. And I'm not going to say I'm perfect and I never put my hands on someone because I have, but mm -hmm. in self-defense. Um, right. mm -hmm. But I also live in Albuquerque, so the violence and crime okay. is insane. So I I know. <laughs> I don't say Burke. I don't know if I told you my mom was from, from Burke. Really? So five, 505, yeah. My mom yeah. comes from there. Um, interesting place. <laughs> I remember because I had my grand <laughs> my uh my great grandma lived out there, like in the in the I don't know if you've ever been on um Dakota Street. My grandma lived on Dakota Street and wasn't too far from the bottom. That is so weird. It's like and you're saying every, my name. Every night I would hear gunshots and shit, and then eventually you just get used to it. Yeah, I know for sure. That's like an every night thing, like yeah. At first, I was probably like freaked out though. I don't even shit. 
Yeah, but, I get you. I came from yeah, a small thanks. town in California. So when I moved here three years ago, I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, it's so, right. for sure. How many How many Edgars live there in Burke? A lot. <laughs> I was talking about this last episode. Oh, Lord. Hey, uh, Coco, do you know what an Edgar is? No, I don't know what that Lexus, is. Lexus, take, take the wheel. You explain what an Edgar is. Edgar, I ain't gonna lie, don't laugh, but if I, every, every time I hear Edgar, I think of eggs. I don't know why. I just think of eggs. Not the yeah. alien. Alexa, can you explain what an Edgar is? Why do I have to? Your name is Dr. Eggman. Angel, <laughs> when I talk about Dr. Eggman. Because you, you've seen them more often. I don't know. I just feel like they all drive fast cars or like low. Yeah, I think my mom. Like a cool. bowl haircut. Um, you know, they yeah. all just carry straps and are drug dealers. That's what yeah, I would say. cool. Well, you know, not all of them carry straps. They just rock the, the cut. But oh. Basically, oh, those bowl cut. Those, those things, the bowl cut. Oh, I've seen it's, them. It's a, Latino, it's a Latino, mainly Mexican, was... that has that bowl hey, cut. And it's like froey on top, but it lays the hair down. Mm-hmm. In the front. Yeah, like and I ain't gonna I lie. Used to, I like work with somebody like that before. Like he had a black skin and everything. And I'm like, dang, I was like, hold up, what's going on? You know, like, I ain't gonna lie. I used to rock that hairstyle too, and then I was like, this shit is not it, bro. Like it just looks I'll call weird. it the bowl cut. It's a bowl cut. Like it's not like, I don't I know like, what it is. It's like they fade it, like they fade it on the side, but they keep everything on mm-hmm. top so it doesn't look all like proportionate and shit. I mean, I call yeah. it hair, so I don't know what it's really called. I call you said it. fuck boy hair? Yeah, it's also a fuck boy hair too. But... Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, you said fuck boy hair. That's how I used to call it. Angel. Hey. So, mo- so Angel. most editors you met out I'm there. I'm showing them my sonny. Do you like my sonny? <laughs> <laughs> I love your Sonic, Angel. That's really an, a really good Sonic toy. He keeps doing this like every time on the like on the phone. He keeps trying to interrupt the conversation. I'm trying to teach him how to like, you know, not to interrupt conversations. It's so hard. Oh my god. He's good. He's, he's good. It's I, so I, I hard. Just means, I just means he's gonna be real social when he's older, and that's a good thing. Yeah. But he already social now. <laughs> yeah. Master of talk. He nonstop. Oh, he is a social butterfly. I swear he is. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So you've seen him, Coco, right? So what do you think? Yeah. About what do you think about that haircut? I just want to know your. I don't opinion. know why I don't. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's saying so, it's it's equivalent to you know the shacks like you know when you know people they have a low fade and they got all that hair in the back. That's equivalent to the bowl cut. The bowl cut. I hate it. I think it's ugly. Oh, you, hate, you hate the mullet, the mullet where they have hair back here and shit. Like the hair back here when it's like shaved, like when it's like ball faded and then it has all that hair back here. I feel like that's equivalent <laughs> to the bowl, the bowl cut as well. I don't like it. That's like the most hideous, hideous hairstyle. I don't like it. There you go. That that's someone outside of the Latino race telling you that that shit is not it. We need to change that. It's, they're they're taking over right now. So most Mexicans they you will see are gonna have an Edgar haircut. I don't like it. Ugh. I was like, I they just heard... need to get a number three, like a number three or number four on top, fade it, and they'll be yeah. fine. That same here, like it's like in like that same here with the the shack, the shack, the Dallas shack, or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck that haircut. I... <laughs> She had a nasty experience. I'm like, bro. Yeah. I was like, at least like, wait. <laughs> wait, you said what? <laughs> oh, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Hello, what happened? I, y'all kind of cut out on me. Um, we, yeah, we can hear you. What? Right we can hear you. Oh. Okay. This Wi-Fi suck over here sometimes. I was gonna say we can hear you. We just didn't hear the oh. last part. <laughs> oh, I was laughing, but it's just like um, with the when it comes to like hairstyle, like me, I love I love curly hair on men. Like I, I my boyfriend has curly hair. I was like I like either you have curly hair or you know nice sh- like or your hair is shaved, like. If it's yeah. shaved and it's not like I'm more like 
if you could put yourself like like you clean yourself up like that's that's attractive like you know you know you clean yourself up and then i don't give a damn if a man got his nails painted or not you get your nails clean that's that so that shows you that you really take care of yourself mm -hmm. you take care them. of yourself but i try to tell dudes that they need to get a pedicure and a manicure like do it that, uh, mm -hmm. i be trying to tell people like i don't get no paint you know what i'm saying i just get the clear coat <laughs> yeah but, and like as long as that shit clean mm -hmm. exactly i was gonna say that's probably don't have pterodactyl feet the i'm about to say like feet be it. screaming for help right like if you see a dude that has fucked up hands or fucked up feet like that's a turn off right oh automatically which which one is worse yes. fucked up hands or fucked up feet? automatically <laughs> which one is worse uh fucked up feet feet for sure because like if you have dirty hands like you could just be like a really hard worker and a blue collar like <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Your mm -hmm. man is shit. Like he works hard. But like feet though, it's like bro, they're in your shoes all day. Why they look like that? <laughs> like I just want to Right. <laughs> like like they throwing up gang signs and shit. Uh, <laughs> you see feet throwing up gang signs? That, that that's a no, that's a no-go. Um, that's a no-no. <laughs> he did he did something to his feet. I don't yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> nah, yo, if he got toes throwing gang signs, that's a little. I have, I'm lost for words on that. Like, what the fuck happened? Like, that's oh, why. You know, if, if you're like me, I wear socks a lot, yo. I'm not gonna lie, I wear socks a lot. If you wear socks a lot, you you're not gonna have an mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. You wear socks and I shoes all so. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you walk around barefoot more often, then that's when it gets dirty more often. Mm -hmm. Am I right about that? I wear socks. Like, even when my Crocs, I'm wearing Crocs, I always wear socks. My feet is brighter than my skin. I wear a whole bunch of tissues. I don't like my toes. Even though, like, my toes are slanted like this, I have no pinky toenail. That's about it. I have pretty feet, but I'm just, like, not confident, confident with my feet. That's why I wear, like, a whole bunch of tennis shoes and socks and stuff. If I get my toes yeah. done, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear them bitches out. I'm gonna wear them bitches out. But for now, you. I don't like my feet. I, I don't you. like them. Yeah. I'm like- I have no complaints about my feet though. I got you. I'm, I'm the same way. Mine stay hidden and protected too. We're, you know what I'm saying? We're good. Alexis, mm -hmm. what about you? I feel like you walk around barefoot, like in the house and stuff. Like you comfortable like that. Hell yeah. no. Barefoot right mm -hmm. now, but my house is clean. My house stays clean and I, um uh -huh. only in barefoot when i'm home though and i come from saying, my yeah. house like if i went to somebody's house oh socks staying on uh, <laughs> regardless uh -huh. um but i also i mean i'm a avid nails are done toes are done hair is done type girl um yeah. and i'm uh -huh. settled, so like then i'm you know barefoot like that but like uh you know when someone's clean or dirty and like i right. I, I give clean girl energy right and, you definitely do definitely like right. if one girl you have amazing skin like you look so clean <laughs> thank you so, of course thank you both y'all both y'all but both y'all like this is a good thing both y'all look like if there's one hair out of place you gotta fix it type deal you know yes. what i'm saying that's a good thing though because it's like you you keeping Ooh. up with yourself. especially when i do my makeup like i'm a makeup artist and like i have to have my makeup perfected like especially with the yeah. brows all right, a lot. Oh Me yeah, too, yo, that, a lot of people be like, "I need to get mine re really cleaned up." Yeah. Actually. Don't y'all? A lot think? of people assume like when I do my makeup, like they think that I have no eyebrows, and I'm like, I take my makeup off. There, it's like you do have eyebrows, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. There's like, let's take you to the pool and see all uh, what you look like under that makeup. I'm like, I look good with or without makeup, and I was like, and that like early the topic, I was like, people were saying makeup is bad for you. I said, no, it's not. All you have to do is just take care of yourself, take care of your skin. <laughs> That's about it. Unless if you're allergic to the makeup, right. then I wouldn't advise. Right. I wouldn't advise. And that. For the dude, and for I'm the a dude big, girl. I'm a big makeup girl. Right. And I'm for a the, huge makeup girl. I love makeup. For the vatos out there, for the guys out there, get that manicure, get that mm -hmm. pedicure. Because if your shit's uh, fucked up. And they're not gonna look your way. <laughs> Promise you that. Right. They, they've expressed that. That they if they see dirty feet, you're dropped. 
<laughs> right, right. It's just some feet me. throwing up gang signs. Feet look dude. like pterodactyl toes. I'm not a feet dude myself though either. Like I'd appreciate like if if a woman kept mm -hmm. up with it, cool. But I'm not like weird about it like mm -hmm. most dudes are. Like I'm just Definitely. I don't really care for me. Just keep them, keep them down there. You oh, know. I had somebody ate my toes and that shit was uncomfortable. Somebody I'm sure had put their toes too. like my toes in their <laughs> mouth and I did not like that. I didn't like no, that. Saying, oh, I thought you I were saying like you were. Like, no, 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 no. When somebody okay, so before I'm in a relationship and stuff, I was dating around and stuff. I was. And um, some some dude, he, I don't know. He decided to put my toes in his mouth, and it's just <laughs> nah. Yo. I didn't like that. That was like that's disgusting. I was like a lot. Like if like people have feet fetish, but I'm like, why the fuck you put? I was like, I can stuff on shit. I can stuff on shit. Thank God I didn't. I don't. I do. I do not walk around barefoot at all. Even when I take a shower, I wash my ass with loofah, but I always have a towel to stand on. I don't like my feet touching on the ground. I don't like very, it. I do the same thing. I stand on the but towel. Like, I'm standing yeah. on the floor. I don't, I don't like that either. I but, thought I was the only one because I'm like, no, no, I, was no, like I'm the I'm same not, I don't like my feet touching the tub. And then, but the pool, the pools are different. The pools are different. It's different, but yeah. I don't be in a pool too long because if I start, I was like, I'm having fun in the pool and I notice my feet touching the ground, mm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out the pool. I don't yeah. like my feet touch. I, I got to have on shoes and I got to have on socks. Yeah. I, 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 don't know first what, I don't know what it is. I thought at first you were saying a dude, like a dude requested like to see feet or some shit. So that's why I was like, that probably happened to Alexis too. Mm -hmm. Like, She's a model, you know what I'm saying? So dudes are probably gonna tap in and say, has that happened yeah. before? Oh, all the time. <laughs> That's a daily thing, honestly. Are they actually willing to mm -hmm. pay? Cause I heard people are willing to pay for shit like that. People like, are willing to pay for fucking anything and everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> like they can probably pay for like mm -hmm. a of fucking hair or like a shirt I never worn before. Like they'll pay for anything. Like it's ridiculous. No probably. This is how weird society is right now. They would probably pay both of you guys to pee in the bathtub and sell that water. Oh, they they and buy people pee water. Buy it. People buy pee water. Yeah. They buy bath water. Mm -hmm. They buy your they probably buy like a fucking backwash water you had. Like they'll buy <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. They're like spit right. the bag and sell it to me. Like what the fuck? Yeah, they're like five hundred bucks. Like they would love that shit. Like, Man, somebody else, like, requested that shit head. to me with the bath water. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. is happening? And then, <laughs> And then, and then people, they be randomly sending you, I had turned my, I had turned my messages off where people cannot, cannot request to talk to me. Like I turned it off because I've been getting a lot of weird shit. They talk about, oh, can we FaceTime? I'll pay you this much to shake your ass on a, on a phone. Oh, can you send me <laughs> your piss or can you send me this and that? Can you send me your feet? I will pay you. And they sending me their meat missiles. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to see that. Meat I don't want to see that. Meat missiles is crazy. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. Meat missiles. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Bro, I've never heard that term I've before. Never what heard the that fuck? Term. <laughs> that was good. That meat got me. missiles. I like it though. That that's a good term for it. <laughs> I fuck with it. <laughs> but shit, we're this was fun. We're about at the end of okay. this podcast episode, but I'm sure you both saw. Um, Questions are coming in. I had people tap in. Oh, are we are we supposed to be able to see that? Because I didn't like the whole time. Oh, yeah, I did yeah, not yeah. see I'm no questions at all. No, no, no. You don't see them now. I'm gonna pop them oh. up. I'm gonna pop them up here in a second. I only picked five oh. random ones, so I didn't even check. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I don't check if they're weird or whatever the fuck. I just pick random, and mm -hmm. whatever this is, whatever it is, type deal. So people so, are watching right now. No, 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 no. It's just recorded. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get in with the first question. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Y'all horror movie fans. Okay. No. So you're a no. no. You're... They piss me off. I'm not. Horror <laughs> movies piss me off to the max. They piss me off because people make dumb decisions on the fucking TV. I be yelling at the TV. I'm oh. like, bitch, there's a door that way. You can get the fuck out. I'm like, <laughs> I'll be so mad. 
But then I do get a couple jump scares, and you know, that's the thrill. But nine out of ten, I give it like a 50 50 on the thrill movies. They <laughs> they piss me you. off, but sometimes they get excited. I got you. And you're, I'm assuming yours is the same reason you don't like them, or? Um, I just don't like being scared like that. Well, um, so funny. So I just, like, if you told me to pick a movie, it would definitely be, like, romance or Disney or comedy. Like, it would never, it would never be horror. So, like, if, so, like, if a homegirl put on a horror movie, you'd be like this? So, when I was young, oh, yeah, ears closed, eyes closed. Like, I'd cover my eyes and cover my ears because, no, I just don't like that stuff. Cover your eyes with a blanket? <laughs> Whatever was by me, like, I don't like, I'll watch them if I have I knew, to. I knew like, if I have to watch it, I'm going to watch it, but, like, willingly... Not my style, no. I still feel like, like you would, pro- yeah. like you said, you cover your eyes, but I feel like you would probably pee though too. Well, you, you have some to of them be pee. boring. <laughs> but like, if it's boring and not scary, I'll watch it. But if it's like really scary, no, because that shit can happen. It's, if it's the ones where it can happen in real life, like fuck no. Bro, they say that shit like energies pass through shits like that, like all these uh-huh. horror movies and dramatic shit. So that energy passes through to you, wherever you're watching it at. Yeah, that's what they say. So I stopped watching horror movies. Movie. No, I stopped watching horror movies, especially like nah. Ooh, I'm good. That's a no. I've been falling asleep on that like, shit sometimes. I don't, like, I don't like demonic shit. That's me. Me neither. No. I like the yeah, old school. I don't either. Movie. I don't like that shit. I like the old school shit, like Friday the Thirteenth. You know the old school stuff. Mm-hmm. But the demonic shit. That now, demonic nah, shit. Uh, I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ, and I do like I do a protection spell on myself and my family, cause like fuck that that energy transfer. I was like, we don't do demonic shit here. No, uh-huh. no absolutely not. No. Holy water. <laughs> right, oh a, God. Here's the second question. I don't think y'all will be friends after this. Oh yeah. So do you guys uh, think? Yeah. 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 I think so, especially like if we be in person, like if we meet in person, I feel like we would be cool friends, you know. Do you guys follow each other on Instagram? No, I don't think so. Like after this, I don't think I'm, gonna so. follow her. I'm about to say after this, follow each other on yeah. Instagram. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right, here's here's a third one. What? Okay, y'all try to do the cutest pose while covering your face with your hands. Mm-hmm. I don't know, probably like this, or I don't know. I I would literally just look like this, I think. If I had some I nails, I'd definitely be like this. You said with the nails done? Yeah, or I do like <laughs> so like that. That's what I'm saying. How would you pose like that? I don't know. Like I'd have to I don't know. Face. Probably like. Is that some ch- is that some challenge shit I don't know about like some TikTok bullshit? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, am I dumb because I don't get it? Like, I don't get it either. I don't get it either. <laughs> I'm like, you that's like just... this. Oh, yeah. my fault. Here was the fourth <laughs> question. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am white and Portuguese, and then I have some Hispanic in me. So. Hmm. Like Spain, Spanish, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought like you could have been like Latina or some shit. Everyone like, has is because of pale skin and dark hair, but it's mostly white and Portuguese. Right. No, that I don't know. Like, that's the thing that people don't understand either about us Hispanic yeah. people is we also come in all colors mm-hmm. too, just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We're not all brown. I'm not brown and I'm Mexican mixed with other shit. So yeah, I get you. We, we here. You know what I'm saying? We're, we come in all shapes and sizes and colors. Simple as that. Um, that was number four, right? Right. Yeah. All right, here's the fifth one. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that was the other one. That was one I already did. <laughs> Bro, I knew I was going to get a question like this. Oh, bro, not the nationality and the toes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew I was going to get a, I knew I was going to get a foot thing somewhere. Like, I there's did. always that one person, you know what I'm saying? I have no color on my toes. I don't. <laughs> yeah, They're well, all there's natural. Your there's your answer, whoever asked that question. <laughs> I hope you're satisfied, toe guy. I just, I don't get the hype around feet. I just don't. I don't know if I'm the only one in this, in the male race, but I'm just, I don't fucking know. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't, I don't know either. There, and there's women out there that be putting, like, Krishan, she put that nigga toes in her mouth. Of course. 
She put that nigga blue face toes in her mouth. Like she was eating. Oh, yeah, wow. blue face like that. I, I I love Krishan, but she is wow. I'd be like, what the fuck? You put a nigga's wow. toes in your mouth. That's what I'm saying. Would y'all ever like, even if your man had like nice feet, like he got his shit done, like would y'all? Fuck no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fuck no. Ain't no toes in my mouth. Fuck no. Fuck no. It's so going in my face. No. I'm not even gonna not even going near my face no so okay with that so then y'all wouldn't all. expect them to tuck your toes either right no i don't like my toes get i don't want my man to put my toes in his mouth <laughs> we're good then <laughs> we on the same page <laughs> like i'm gonna say, like okay massaging feet cool like you can do that that's cool but putting them in your mouth that's mm -hmm. like why are we trying to cross boundaries over here like i feel like that's just that's out of the ordinary. I don't know. I don't know. All these massage like. one feet in my life is my man's feet. I did. I did not touch nobody else's feet because, like, I I don't like touching feet. Except for my son. Like, when my son feet hurts, I touch his feet. If my man needs his foot massage, I will massage his feet. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, I'm not touching nobody yeah. else's stuff. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with foot massages. It's just putting them in the mouth mm -hmm. and doing crazy shit with feet. You know, like, mm -hmm. like, you really oh. don't gonna pick out my toes or go crazy with them. Like, no, I just. Right. You said what? That's like, diabolical like, work. Take out your toe with your toes. Like, go Is crazy. It, <laughs> right. That that's that diabolical work right there. That is down <laughs> in the trenches. Crazy. That's demonic. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. This is a fun episode, yo. I appreciate that. This, I haven't had a good Thank episode you. like this in a bit, so this this was fun. Um, Alexis, Coco, I appreciate you guys coming on this podcast, taking the time out of your day to make this happen. This was fun. Thank you. I appreciate you enjoying. Like, make. Ugh, sorry, tongue twist. I appreciate you bringing us on here to the podcast. I appreciate that a lot. I really Absolutely. enjoyed it. Absolutely. And then to ask y'all the question things, should, do you guys think I should keep doing that? Even though they're like sometimes weird, but like, do you think I should keep doing that or should I switch it up a little bit? No, I like them. You I should. Think it makes it interactive. More interactive. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got mm -hmm. you. I got you. So even, even though like some of them are weird, like it's like, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. It put on yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it. I got you. But, um, hell yeah. So that's, yeah. that's the end of this episode. Both y'all shout out your Instagrams and then go follow each other right after this. Bet I am Karma Goddess C A R M E L G O D D E three S's. Y'all go follow me. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having me. My Instagram's underscore Alexis Trindad. Go follow me too. I've been saying it weird. I was saying Trindad, but that's because I'm Spanish. It's like Trindad just is like they know how to spell it. So. I got, I got you, I got you. Y'all go give them a follow and show them some love. And they are now friends, so they've got to go follow each yeah. other. And I appreciate you guys coming on this. Yeah, thank you for thank you. All right, you thank guys you. have a blessed night. Thank you, thank you, you too.